Hey everyone, this is Ross, and as you can see, I've completely drained the goldfish fry tank. So there's no water in, it's absolutely clean, so it's basically like a brand new tank. And the reason why I've done that is because I'm going to try and aquascape it today. Um, I originally did it as a bare bottom tank to see if this piece of plywood would keep the sunlight out and therefore keep the algae away. And it's done a great job keeping the algae away. Um, I've had this tank set up for a few weeks now and I haven't got any algae on the glass. I mean, I've got a few little spots, but um, it was really great. So at least I know there's not going to be any algae problem in this tank from now on, hopefully. Um, so yeah, today I just thought I'd give it a go at aquascaping. By no means am I the best aquascapist in the world. Uh, Takashi Amano is the best. But um, yeah, this is just my take on aquascaping. Um, it's kind of a tutorial. I'm not the best, as I said. But it's just kind of my guide. This is how I do it, if you want to follow it. Um, so the first thing you want to have in mind is the theme. What theme do you want your tank to be? Uh, a lot of people who are doing planted tanks have like an Amazonian theme. I try to have an Amazonian theme in the 15 gallon. Um, got lots of plants in there and things. Amazon fish, so um, in this tank I thought, well goldfish come from China, um, well originally when they were carp, now they're kind of bred into colourful colourful carp I guess, um, but they were originally from lakes and rivers in China, so I was out the other day and I was looking in some English rivers and I saw there was lots of cobbles in them, there was sand in them of many different colours, there was brown sand, white sand, everything in between. So I thought I'd give it a go at doing um, a sand substrate and cobble substrate. I just got these from the beach the other day. I got two red ones and the rest are grey. I just got the two red ones for contrast. But I think it'll these kind of cobbles will look great against sand. And the sand I'm using is actually just off a few old fish tanks. Um, I've got a few different types mixed in here. Um, I've got light sand, I've got dark sand, brown sand, and I've also got some pebbles in here as well. Um, they're just natural colour pebbles. A few black ones in, brown, red, white. So that looks fairly natural, kind of like a, a freshwater beach next to a, a river. And I've got these as well. So today I'm just going to show you my take at aquascaping this tank. Once again, I'm not the best in the world. Um, this is just how I do it. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put the sand in. So, I'll just bring the big container up here like this. Sorry if you can't really see, but there's nothing much to see at the minute. I'll just scoop the sand in. Try not, not to make too much of a mess. Alright, this is probably going to take another two or three minutes, so you'll probably get bored. So I'll just stop the video here and show you once all the sand's in. Okay, the sand's in there now, so. At the minute it's really just a mess, it's a big blob, it just looks really bad. So the next thing you want to do is just form your substrate into a nice shape. I usually like to have a slope going up towards the back, um, but you can really have a substrate in any shape you like. So first of all what I like to do is just flatten it down first, just use my hand. Uh, some people like to use special metal tools for this. But I just prefer using my hand. Um, so I've just got it all flat there now. Now I lower the front. And I bring that sand towards the back. And then I use my hand to make the back steeper than the front. So you have, you don't have much sand in the front. And you have a lot in the back. It just looks, uh, it seems to be a nicer effect. But people have got different opinions on it. So you can see it's beginning to get higher in the back there now. 
and it almost looks as if the tank's kind of displaying itself to you. It's kind of throwing itself out at you. Okay, so now it's higher at the back and it's lower at the front. And also what I like to do, because this is kind of like a riverbed, riverbeds aren't always really straight, so what I like to do is put like a little dip in the middle. So I just make a little trench with my hand and put the sand up there. And I kind of push the sand aside to make a small trench in the middle. Okay, so now it's a lot steeper in the back than it is in the front, and we've got one main mound here and one main mound there, and we've got a kind of trench in the middle where the fish can swim. So that's beginning to look all right. It'll look a lot better when I get the rocks in. So now I'll just um, boil the rocks to get all the bacteria off, and I'll show you um, once I've done that. Okay, so I've formed the substrate into a nice shape. It's got a nice little trench for the fish to swim down the middle and it's got two raised points either side and at the back. And the next thing to put in is the rocks. You can use, you don't have to use rocks, you can use uh, wood, plants, whatever you like. Um, it's really up to you, get creative, you can have um, castles in there. Uh, it's just really whatever you want. But for this one, because I'm going with a riverbed theme, I'm using uh, cobblestone. So um, I actually like to lay out the setup before I put it in the tank. Um, just over here you can't see it. Um, I've actually got the rocks laid out in the way that I actually want to put them in the tank. So all I have to do is transfer that design over into here. You can also do some sketches if you want. I haven't actually done any sketches for this tank. But you can just go on paint or you can draw it on a piece of paper and just sketch what you want the tank to look like. And then you can get the required materials for that um, later. Okay, so I've got my rocks here. Just going to place the biggest ones in the back. Just kind of work them into the sand. Push the sand up against them. And I'm going to get the second biggest one wedged in against that rock. I'm going to have like a layout effect. And it's really a kind of an art. There's no way to really describe how to do this. It's just personal taste and opinion. Um, so yeah, I can't really describe this bit. Um, so just continue getting rocks, wedging them in the sand next to each other. And hopefully create a nice effect. And it's not looking too good at the minute, but it will do soon, hopefully. Just kind of layering them around the largest rock. Now, the other biggest rock I'm going to put over here. It's the, the same thing applies in planted aquariums. If you've got large plants, just put them in the back. In smaller plants, put them in the front, like uh, dwarf sarge, baby tears, dwarf baby tears, things like that. And in the back, you've got jungle val, Amazon swords, Ligrigia, mid ground, you've got Anubius, um, Java fern, things like that. So, the same rule really applies for all aquascaping. You've got to have the largest things in the back, smallest things in the front. And it's a good idea to shape your substrate because a flat substrate isn't very attractive. You want something that displays itself a bit better too. So they're just a few rules I like to follow. Um, so I'm just continuing putting the rocks in. Notice I'm not putting any directly in the middle because in nature nothing's really symmetrical except animals. Um, if you look at streams they're not really symmetrical. Um, so I like to keep things away from the middle. I like to kind of off 
offset them a bit like this rock it's almost in the middle but it's kind of to the right so yeah don't really put things directly in the center of the tank unless it's like a pyramid or something if it's like Egyptian themed but um, in most natural aquariums it's best to offset things from the center so going in for the first red stone here it's nice to have a bit of contrast in your aquariums if you're using all grey stones it's nice to have a bit of red in there it just looks a bit better it's beginning to take shape a bit I'm not sure how well you can see I'm just starting to lay out the smaller rocks around them now it should look a lot better when it's full up though And take your time, I'm kind of rushing this because it's on video and um, people get bored quite easily. Uh, people will be seeing the videos too long and things, so I'm trying to do it quick. I apologise if I'm going a bit too slow, but uh, it's as fast as I can really do it. Because it is kind of an art. So just keep on watching pebbles in there. And it's beginning to resemble a riverbed. I'm not sure about you, but I think it looks okay. So, that's the aquascape. It doesn't look very pretty at the minute, but when it's full of water, the sand should all settle to the bottom, because at the minute, a lot's actually sticking to the rocks and on the glass, and it doesn't look too attractive. So I'm going to fill it up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all full up. Okay, so the tank's all full up now, and that's the aquascape completed. I've also got the fish in, and they seem to be enjoying the new obstacles in the tank, because um, when the tank was bare bottom, there wasn't a lot of stimulation in there for them, but now there's rocks that they can swim around, and they like uh, picking up the sand in the mouths and spitting it back out, so hopefully that's more of a stimulating environment for them. So, um... Yeah, if some of you beginners found this video helpful, or if you simply just liked it, then please leave a nice comment. Uh, it means a lot. I like to hear nice comments. Uh, please like the video, and please subscribe if you, if you haven't already done so. Um, I've got a video of my 15 gallon coming up later, an update video, so if you want to, you can check that out. Alright, so that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.